Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, teacher. Oh, guys, how are you? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. I'm fine. Afternoon, teacher. Very good. All good. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you for joining everybody. Yeah, that sounds awesome. We're going to start with the class in a few seconds. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I can see that most of you are in the class. And I'm going to call it the next part, okay? Let's begin with that and then we're going to introduce the topic, right? Okay, here we go. Remember, don't forget, as soon as you listen to your name, call me up and say present. Adam? Present. Thank you. Alexander? Ana Silvia? Present. Thank you. Carolina? Present, teacher. Thanks. Claudia Elizabeth? Present, teacher. Okay. Claudia Elizabeth? Carlos Jose. Dalia Lilibet. Present teacher. Thanks. Dora Alicia. Dora Alicia. Enrique Guevara. Hazel. Present. Thanks. Jeremias. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Joanna. Present teacher. Good, Jose Mario. Kenya. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Lady. Lady. Present. Nice. Juliana. Marina, Ricardo Albino, Sandra, Soray Esther, Soray, Soray, present teacher, thanks, Stephanie, Vanessa? Present teacher. Thanks. Susana? Present teacher. Very good. Yeah. Tatiana? Present teacher. Thank you. Leonel? Leonel? Laura? Laura, Alba Patricia, Eric. Present teacher. Thank you, Michelle. And Erga. Okay, uh, one more time. Good afternoon, everybody. I can see more, more classmates, more participants in, in the meeting. Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Loud teacher. A mí no me mencionó. ¿Cómo no? La mencioné. La mencioné dos veces. Creo que no me escuchó. Sí, teacher. Es que me está fallando el Inter. Ok, present, teacher. No se preocupe. Aquí le puse el Inter. Gracias. ¿La de Lizette? ¿Carlos José? ¿Sí qué? ¿Alguien más que no mencionó? Mi teacher. Claudia Lizette González. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Who else? Teacher, yo estoy presente. Ahorita me acabo de conectar. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, están listos. Present. Thank you. Okay, very good. So we're going to start, everybody, with, with class number, oh, I can see Laura. Laura? Laura? Hi, teacher. Oh, welcome. How are you? Fine, and you? Everything is okay. Thank you for asking. Okay, I hope you're fine, everybody. We're going to start with the class. This is class number 10. Uh, today we finished with 
the week right in this case because we go from Monday to Thursday. Yeah, today we finish and yeah, we're going to rest. We're gonna have a a day off, right? Because it's almost vacation, right? So we're going to continue. We're going to come back until August 9th, right? So don't forget that information that I explained and I gave to you yesterday, right? Don't forget it. Um, what else? Uh, about the platform, I don't know if you have any questions. Thank you, Liliana. No, no worries. Welcome. Good afternoon. I can see Ricardo too. Hello, Ricardo. Liliana. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm great. Amazing. I can see Leonel too. Welcome, Leonel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm okay. Nice. Thank you for joining. Ok, y no sé si alguien más se acaba de unir hace poquito. Además de los tres participantes que se unieron hace poquito. Liana, Ricardo y Leonel. Oh, Enrique, hay que decir Enrique. Hello, Enrique. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Uh, not bad, and you? That sounds great. Uh, yeah, everything is all right. Thank you. Okay, uh, no, do you have any questions, sorry, about the platform? Preguntas? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Vamos, hemos seguido avanzando, vamos a la sección 4. Empezamos en esta sección, recuerden. Hemos iniciado, ya iniciamos. Y debemos de ir, pues, avanzando. No se nos olvide, siempre hacer esa, esa recordatoria, ¿verdad? La plataforma. Eh, siempre lo menciono en cada clase para que ustedes pues, estén trabajando y estén avanzando, ¿verdad? Y practicando, por supuesto. Y cualquier cosa, siempre pues, estamos siempre ahí a la orden. Por supuesto, pues, está apoyado. Pues que... Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. No sé si hay preguntas. ¿Todo bien? Good, teacher. Ok. Recuerden que ese día, ese día pues finalizamos la semana, ¿verdad? Acabamos de lunes a jueves, básicamente. Pero en sí en sí, las semanas van de miércoles a martes, no nos dice nada. Que ayer iniciamos la semana 4. Ese día terminamos, hacemos la pausa, ¿verdad? En cuanto a retirándonos a vacación, ¿verdad? Hacemos la pausa y retornamos hasta el próximo lunes 9 de agosto. Más o menos por bien. Eh, bueno, por lo general los viernes son, no se tiene clase, pero es libre. Es que estaría hasta dentro de una semana. Bueno, volvemos a ver. Regresamos a ver y seguimos, ¿verdad?, con, con las clases. Es que no se nos olvide eso, recordárselos, porque ese día, pues, finalizamos y, papito, regresamos al 9 de agosto. Pues, si hay dudas, comentarios. ¿Todo, ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, teacher. Thanks. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Eh, para cuando regresemos de la vacación, tenemos que tener la, eh, la cuatro. Eh, sí, por, por, tendrían que haber avanzado la cuatro y la terminamos, pues excelente. Recuerden que cuando regresamos el lunes, nueve, cuando regresamos el lunes 9 de agosto, vamos a seguir con la sección 4, porque nos harían falta dos clases más. El martes específicamente, el martes 10, finalizaríamos la semana 4. Y el miércoles, y estamos con la última semana, que sería la, la semana 4, específicamente la sección 5. Ajá. Es que, pero sí, debemos de avanzar durante la vacación, y más si nos hemos quedado, ¿verdad? Nos hemos atrasado, es eh, de aprovechar, de aprovechar. Pues, avanzamos mucho más, excelente. Y repito, porque el día no me está preguntando en el, en el chat, ese día sí, terminamos, ¿verdad? Vamos de lunes a jueves, los viernes son libres, y, pero por supuesto hay que seguir trabajando. Por, y, y retornamos, regresamos hasta el lunes 9 de agosto, por la vacación. ¿Okay? Información, repito, por, 
algunos que no me escucharon, probablemente se hubiera más poquito. Caso de Sarai, hello. Good afternoon. And I can see Michelle too. Welcome, Michelle. Good afternoon. How are you? How's it going? How's everything? Everything okay, Michelle and Sarai? Hello, hello, sorry. Hello. I, I... I was in mute. Oh, okay. No worries. How's it going? Good afternoon. Good, good, afternoon. good afternoon. All right. Amazing. Thank you for joining, guys. Well, we are starting with the class. This is class number 10. Uh, today is Thursday, July 29th. This is the topic for today. We will focus on yes, no, and WH questions. We do. We do. So. Specifically, we will have a simple present. The simple present. <clears throat> so we continue. Don't forget, the topic is just no and the these questions we do. Moving on, let's begin with just no questions first. And this is the way we structure just no questions. Right? We do. Remember, if we talk about questions in the simple present, Let's begin with that, just no questions. Let's specify, let's say we do or does. Those are the auxiliaries, do and does. Do and does are auxiliary verbs. And we use them for questions, for questions. Okay, so we follow the structure do or does plus a subject plus the verb. So the verb in this case is in base form. And at the end, we follow a complement with a question mark. Why we have two auxiliaries? Two auxiliaries. It's because when you use do, you associate this auxiliary with the following subjects. You can use it with I, you, we, you, we and they. And if you use does, so you use it with the third person singular. What is the third person singular? Do you remember? He, 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 and it. it, it, exactly. So that's the way, that's the way. That's why we use doing that. That's why we have two auxiliaries, the simple present. Do you, do we, do I, do they, does he, does it, does she? No, it depends. It depends. Then, of course, with with the questions, with the two auxiliaries, you have to use the verb in base form. So you don't have to change it like in the third person singular in affirmative specifically. That you change the verbs, right? For example, if you're talking about affirmative, remember that you said in the third person singular, he works. He works from Monday to Friday. We change the verb because it's in the third person. We change the verb. So we add S in this case. He works from Monday to Friday. Or if you use another example, like he st she studies English in the afternoon. So this is what we saw in the previous classes, right? We were talking about affirmative, negative, positive, and simple present. But right now we're focusing on questions, right? For example, do you do you watch movies on weekends? That's a question. Do you watch? That is a verb based form. This is a compliment. Uh, with this kind of questions, remember we get short answers, but in some cases we get long answers too, 
right? So most of the times we answer like, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Those are the two answers. But like I said before, in some cases, uh, we use long answers. Long answers. For example, when we get long answers, you said, uh, yes, I watch. I watch my favorite TV program. So that can be one option, right? Or when you say no, you can say, I don't like watching TV, for example. So if you want to use long answers with different questions, specifically with a simple present, you can use this. But of course, most of the times, these are short answers. So we say just, yes, I do, and no, I don't. Yes, I do, no, I don't. Okay? So we can have different possibilities. Another possibility can be, do we go to the park every day? Do we go to the park every day? So this is auxiliary, subject, the very base one, and all this is the complement. So now we say, yes, we do. No, we don't. Okay. And here we have another example. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. If you want to use the third person, the third person singular, so now you change and you say, does he go to the gym on Saturdays? So the way we answer is, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. That's the way. Here we have another example. Does Max like ice cream? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. And of course, we can change. We can change the question. We can say, does Mary like ice cream? So now the answers are different because we're talking about a woman. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. That's the way we construct yes, no questions. We do or does. Okay, so far so good. Yes, teacher. Nice. No questions? No question, teacher. No question, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, it, with WH questions, with all these questions, we follow the same pattern, the same formula. But what is different is that we include at the beginning the WH word. So we keep the same pattern. We follow the same formula, this formula. The WH questions or information questions. So we call them like this, we, we can call this kind of questions like information questions, so we can say that all these questions are the same. Uh, for example, so now what we do is that at the beginning we include all these words. Plus the auxiliaries, the word does. The word does, the subject, the verb based form, and the complement. So it's the same. But of course, we use all these words. Do so you remember all these words? Yes. Can you tell me some double H words? What, where, when, where, what, which, who, who, why, why, what time? I listened to someone that said which, I think. Which? Yeah. Who's? Who's? Okay. Very good. Okay, so those are WH words, right? But I'm gonna focus on the on the on the 
the most common, right? The most common knowledge words. If, for example, do you remember when do we use what? What is the purpose of what? Is. If you make a question with what, what is the purpose? I mean, you are asking, you're asking about? For to know something. Yeah, some things can be an idea, an activity. Yes. What time is it? Exactly. What time is it? That can be another possibility. But in that case, it's what time? That is the WH word. What time? So you're at, that's a, that has a different purpose. So that is for time. But just what? What? Is for that, for things, ideas, activities, etc. For example, what do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? I go out with my family. No, that is an idea, that is an activity. I go out with my family. So here we have another example. What is sports do you play? What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. So we can use what, remember that what is similar to which. The purpose of which is asking about choices. We can use what for choices too. So here we have the choice. What sports? What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Okay. information. Exactly, you want to know information. Very good. That's the first possibility. Who? When do we use who? For to know people. People. Exactly. People. People in general. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. But this is the answer. Who? Who do you play baseball with? Some friends from work. I play with some friends from work. We have a team. That's the purpose of who? What about where? What is the purpose of where? Place. Place. A place. Place. Where do you play? Where do you play baseball? Where do you play basketball? Where do you play soccer? Where do you play? You play at Hunter Park. We play at Hunter Park. That's a place, Hunter Park. Clear. And as you can see, we're following the structures. The WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb. In this case, we don't have the complement, but you can include it. You can include it. But that's the, the, the formula. We're following the formula. Okay, another WH word is how often. Do you remember when do we use how often? If to know the time. Okay, the time. The frequency. Exactly. Yeah, the frequency of the time of the activity. Yeah, that is the purpose of how often. That is another WH word. And when we use this uh, expression of this WH word, it's because we use adverse of frequency. Always, sometimes, never, hardly ever, often, seldom, rarely, etc. For example, how often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. We practice once or twice a week. And so this is the, the frequency. Frequency, once or twice a week. You practice once or twice a week. How often? When do we use when? We want to know the time. Yeah, we want to know the time, exactly. When do you practice? When do you practice? We, we can know the time, we can know a date, a specific date, on a specific date. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays, on Sundays. That is the time, that is the, the specific time. 
And the last one, what time? So we use what time? It's similar to when. That is for time. That can be at a specific time. So what, what time do you start? What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning. So that is the time. The time. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. This is the way we construct questions with do or does, specifically with all these questions. And of course, we're using the simple present. Okay. Do you have any questions over here? So far, so good. Yeah. No questions? Yeah. Oh. Not teacher. Thanks. Okay, we continue. Listen, on the following part, I will talk about object pronouns. We use object pronouns, questions and sentences, all right? So these are object pronouns. We're going to relate them. We're going to relate the object pronouns with object pronouns. What are the subject pronouns? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And the other pronouns are me, I, me, right? Me, you, the same, him, her, it, us, you, and them. Again, me, you, him, her, it, us, you, and them. Those are the other pronouns. And we can include them in sentences, in questions, etc. Okay? So here we have the, the examples. Can you help me? So this is the other pronoun. Me. Can you help me? I know you. I know you. She isn't in love with him. With him. She isn't in love with Sam, for example. She isn't in love with him. It's he phones her every day. He phones her every day. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sure. Yeah, tell me. The example he found her every day is similar forms uh, like call. Yeah. He calls her. That is an this is a verb. Phone, phone is not just a noun. A phone, right? No. So it can be a, a, an action. I phone my mother. I phone my mother. So I call my mother. Yeah. Yes. And another example, wait for us. This is the other point, us. Wait for us. And the last one, call them, call them this evening. Them, that is the other pronoun. This is the way we place, we place the other pronouns. We can use it in sentences, we can use it in questions. Etc. For example, if you want to use it in a in a simple pressing question, you can say, "Do you call? Uh, do you call him on weekends?" So here we have the other pronoun. That is the other pronoun, right? 
Uh, when you say, for example, do you like it? Do you like it? When we say it, it's because we're referring to something. It can be um, what? Let's say a car. It can be a chocolate, probably. Do you like it? Etc. So we are replacing, we replace some nouns with the other pronouns. I will say him, probably we're referring to uh, what? Your brother, uh, your friend, we're referring to Carlos, Peter. him. So we replace him in this case. So you call him on weekends. So that's the way we use those audio pronouns, audio pronouns, okay? Any questions over here? No? Most no, teacher. Most no, teacher, no question. Most of the times, audio pronouns, a function uh, has a preposition of the verb. So we, what we do is that we replace, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The audio pronouns function as the object, sorry. The object of the verb. So what we do is that we replace the, 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 the noun, let's say, we replace a noun of these function as that. They function as that, they are the object of a verb. Call him. So we are replacing a, a noun and this is acting as a, the object of a verb. So you call him weekends. So probably you're referring to your brother, your friend, Carlos, etc. Do you like it? We're referring to a farm, chocolate, a smartphone, etc. So that's the function of all your pronouns. A good afternoon, Stephanie. And yeah, I have Alba two in the meeting. Give me a second. Afternoon, teacher. Sorry. Good afternoon. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, we're talking about simple present, simple present. Right? Specifically, we're focusing on uh, just now and WS questions. And uh, let me summarize just over here. This is the way we use just no questions. We use the Taylor is do or, or does. If you use do, it's because you have the following pronouns. You have the following pronouns I, you, we, and they. Do you, do I, do they, do we? If you use that, it's because we have he, she, or it. The third person singular. And it depends on the subject or the pronoun they use. Okay, that help us to get the answer, right? The answers. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Does Max like ice cream? Yes, he does, no, he doesn't. But if you change the subject and just say, does Lisa like ice cream? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. That's about W. Just no questions, sorry. Then we have the WH questions. So we use WH words. WH words. What, where, when, why, what time, how often, who, ever. And this is the way we structure the questions. We begin with a WH word. We use auxiliaries again. Do or does. We use the subject, the verb, and we have a complement. And here we have some examples. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play a hunter park. So here we're asking for a place. Where do you play? I play or we play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? So we're asking for the frequency of an activity. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We're asking for time. We practice on Sundays, on Sundays. 
what time do you practice or do you start? So here we're asking for a specific time. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So this is the way we use yes, no, and WH questions. And we were discussing the OG pronouns. These are the OG pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. Me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. So we tend to associate those subject pronouns with the subject pronouns. We know the subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. Those are the other pronouns. And these are the pronouns. They function as the object of a verb. That is the main function. That is the main function of an object pronoun. I was using the object pronouns in questions with simple present. Do you call him? Do you call him on weekends? So probably we're referring to a brother, a friend, a probably some someone in specific, Carlos, Harley, Gabriel, etc. But if you say, do you like it? Do you like it? So probably you're referring to a car, Macaulay, uh, a smartphone, a party, etc. So we tend to replace, we tend to replace some, some nouns, some nouns. And of course, again, the function is, they function as the object of the verb. Okay. Any questions? No question, teacher. Thanks. Okay, listen, we're going to practice now. We're going to practice with some questions. Uh, what I have here is two uh, scenarios. Okay, I have three, what, well, six questions actually. I have in total six questions. Uh, we have like two, <clears throat> two ways. So I have a student A and I have a student B. I'm going to select some classmates, some participants, and what you have to do is to interview your classmates. You're going to, I'm going to tell you, okay, you're going to be a student A and you're going to be a student B. What you have to do is to keep in mind your questions and you have to ask them to your classmates, okay? So you're going to interview your classmates. You're going to interview your classmates. Okay, we're gonna work in pairs. We're gonna work in pairs. I'm thinking about, yeah, making breakout rooms. But right now we're, we are 28. Yeah, so that's good, we're 28. So we're gonna work in pairs. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. And I need you to interview your classmates. I need you to ask these questions. One of you is going to be a student B and student A, sorry, and the other person is going to be a student B. What I want to do is to interact at the same time, interview your classmates, and they are going to give you information about these questions. For example, what time that is the first question? So imagine that, let me see, I'm going to interview someone. A, can you give me a hand with the questions, Laura? Yes. Okay, Laura, you're going to be a student B, and I'm going to be a student A. We're going to we're going to ask you some question. One question. I'm going to ask my first question to you, and then you have to ask me a question from this side. Okay. So I go for it. Okay. Laura, what time do you get up on week on weekdays? I get up at eight o'clock. Okay, very good. So that is Laura's answer. So now Laura mm -hmm. is going to ask me a question. Laura. Where do you shopping? Uh, I go shopping. What? At the supermarket. 
I go shopping at a supermarket. Very good. So that's what you have to do. You're gonna work in pairs in the breakout rooms. I'm gonna give you some time. I will give you 10 minutes for you to ask the three questions. The student A is going to ask the three questions and the student B is going to ask three questions. You're going to take turns. Okay? Mm -hmm. Please, what I want yes. you to do, I need you to take a screenshot. Everybody, vamos a tener captura de las preguntas. Vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms. Y ustedes van a entrevistar, van a hacer las preguntas en su Y vamos a responder. Es que una persona va a ser estudiante A y otra persona va a ser estudiante B. Cada quien tiene preguntas diferentes. Tenemos una captura a todos y vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms. We're going to work in pairs. Oh, but I... Se nos fue alguien ahorita, no sé quién fue. Bueno, vamos a intentar, si no, alguien va a quedar, un grupo va a quedar de tríos. Trío. Y ahí pues in, in, intercambiamos, hacemos diferentes preguntas, ¿ok? Creo que un grupo me va a quedar de tres, porque éramos 28, bueno, eran 28. Pues, bueno, ahorita se nos puede acompañar. Bueno, lo vamos a hacer así. Vamos a hacerlo con los que están aquí ahorita. Voy a ver si los incluyo los que se unen después. Y porque esos son los que fueron más compañeros. Lo hay 25 ahorita. Como que es porque tienen problemas. Let me see. You are. Um, bye. I'm going to create a group. Because we're going to work in pairs. And I'm going to have a trio. Um, no, I'm going to create 12. 12. Yeah, and I'm going to have just one trio. Let me see. Yes. Okay, listen, I have the following groups. Carlos, Claudia, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, and Kenya, you're together. Laura and Susana, you're together. In the, th in the third room, I have Adam and Ricardo. In the fourth group, I have Alexandra and Liliana. Next, Jeremias and Stephanie, you're gonna work together. Alba and Dora, you're gonna work together. Claudia, Lisette, and Yomel, you're gonna work together. Eric and Sarai, you're gonna work together. Ana Silvia and Carolina, you're gonna work together. Marina and Michelle, you're gonna work together. Sandra and Sarai, you're gonna work together. Natalia and Vanessa, you're gonna work together. So only the first group is a, it's a trio, Carlos, Claudia, and Elizabeth, and Kenya. You're gonna work together, okay? We're gonna start working in the breaker rooms. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes, okay? And then we're going to go back. Is it clear what we have to do? <clears throat> yes. Any questions about the activity? No question, teacher. No question, it's a clear. Okay, remember, one person is going to be student A and the other person is going to be student B. You decide, you decide. You say the student can is going to say you must be student A and you must be student B. Vamos a tener un par de minutos, de 8 a 10 minutos, vamos a regresar. ¿Ok? Let's go, let's begin. Teacher, yo tuve que levantarme por unos minutos. Oh, ok, what we have to do, Michelle, um, we're going to work in pairs, um, we're going to go to the breaker rooms, and you're going to interview your classmates, you're going to ask a question. In your case, Michelle, you're going to work with Marina, eso sí lo escuché. With Marina, yeah. So, Michelle, you probably you will be sitting A and Marina will be sitting B or vice versa. Marina is going to be sitting A and you're going to be sitting B. But what you have to do is to ask the three questions to your classmate and your classmate has to answer the questions, right? And then Marina is going to ask you the question, ask you the questions and you have to answer her questions, right? That's what you have to do. ¿Y dónde eh, Marina y yo nos vamos a poner de acuerdo? ¿Cómo? O sea, no, vamos, vamos, a, vamos a trabajar en los breaker rooms. No sé si conoce la, la, la función. No. 
eh, las break rooms son salas privadas. Acá mismo en, en, la, en, la, en la room vamos a tener salas privadas, llamadas privadas. Ustedes van a estar con su pareja, solo con ellos. Porque yo voy a empezar ahorita las, las, las salas privadas. La voy a dar acá en Open All Rooms. Ustedes van a recibir probablemente una notificación, deben de darle a aceptar y se van a ir a la sala privada. Ustedes van a trabajar ahí en parejas, solo ustedes dos. Y ellos van a hacer sus preguntas. Yeah, no problem. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's begin. Weekday. I get up at seven o'clock. Uh, where do you eat lunch? I eat my lunch at one p.m. or two p.m. Uh, what uh -huh. does mean eat lunch? Hola. Hola, solo yo estoy en este grupo. Hello, everything okay? Sandra and Carlos? I I read I read book or magazines of of quiero ver of history. Okay. What TV programs do you watch?
Y luego le damos la vuelta, así sería. Ajá. Le damos la vuelta. Ok. What time do you, what time do you get up on weekdays? I get up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Es como un repaso, ¿verdad? Sí, como un repaso de lo que están. Okay. Where do you eat lunch? Okay, have you finished? Uh, Silvia and Carolina? Yes. Okay, uh, I think we're going to go back because we, we need to continue with the following activity. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going back, everybody. Going back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, well, listen, uh, I think some of you were having some issues. Uh, Carlos and Sandra, I think you, you couldn't enter the room. Do you have some problems? Creo que en el caso de Carlos y Sandra no pudieron ingresar porque tuvieron algún problema. Eh, en el caso de Soraya, creo que estuvo la, la manera de, de, de enviarla a otro grupo. Soraya, no sé si pudo terminar con sus compañeras. Eh, como ellas ya estaban en casi que, que, que terminando, estaba esperando que terminaran para oh. ver, pero ya en eso regresamos. Oh. Ok, ok, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think some of you were having some issues, and I'm so sorry. Uh, for example, Carlos and Sandra, I think they were having some issues, but they couldn't enter the, the room. So, yeah, Soraya and, and Sandra were, were supposed to work together, but they couldn't because Sandra couldn't enter the room. But it's okay, it's okay, uh, no worries. Uh, I will have a, you know, this activity, I will ask you in this case, Soraya and Sandra, that you can work together. You can do it in activity via WhatsApp. Okay, please. Okay, teacher. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No okay. problem, teacher. Pretty good. Has everybody finished with the questions? Did we finish with the, the questions? ¿Lo con las preguntas? Sí, sí, Ok. Muy bien, muy bien. So the purpose is, I'm, I'm sorry, the purpose was to practice, put into practice what we have learned so far about yes, no, and double these questions. Specifically, double these questions. You're asking for, for that. Very good job. Thank you for, for helping me with activity. We're going to continue because we have the last part, the last activity. For this now what i want to do you have to practice your writing and you need to look at the exercise provided what you need to do is to unscramble the questions with the correct form so here we have just no and English questions as you can see what you have to do is to use those prompts for words and construct the correct question the first two examples, the first two exercises are given as examples. Okay, so we had the words in the first one, where leave your parents. So you have to use those words and construct the correct question. The correct question is, where do, where do your parents live? That is the first one. In the second one, we have the words of the prompts, you early always get up. The question, the correct question is, do you always get up early? That is a chestnut question. So you have to be careful because in some cases you have just chestnut questions 
or you can have daily questions. But I wanted to do, I need you to continue with the other ones, number three until yeah. number eight. And as soon as you finish, please let us know. I'm sorry. Claudia. Me, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. tell me. Ah? Huh? Tell me, tell me. Number three. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. You want to give me the answer, Claudia, right? Uh, no, no, no dije nada, teacher, yo. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry. I got confused. The, the, the number three is how often, how often uh, do you watch TV? Could be okay. Very good. I'm sorry, I, I thought it was the Claudia, but it was Michelle. Sorry. How often do you watch TV? Yeah, this is number three. Very good. Thank you, Michelle, for helping us. That's number three. I will give you some time. I will give you a few minutes, please, in your notebooks. Write the questions. And yeah, in a couple of minutes, we're going to give the answer. Very good. So we have the first three exercises, the first three questions. Let's continue with the other ones. I will give you a few minutes in your novels. Let's go. Continue. And scramble the questions. I'm scramble the questions. Play your time, play your time. Finish. Thank you. Very good. I'll give you more time. A few more minutes. Continue. Yeah, as soon as you finish, please let me know. You can raise your hand or just let me know in the mic. Thank you. I'm finished, teacher. Thank you. Thanks. Premias. I finished this year. Thank you. Oh, you're good. Sylvia, thank you. Thank you for number four. That is the answer. Okay, we're going to start with these questions. We have to give the answers right. These are just no and all these questions. Yeah, we already get, we already got, sorry, the first three examples, first three exercises. Number one, where do your parents sleep? Number two, you always get up early. 
And number three, Michelle said, how often do you want to be? And number four, Ana Silvia gave us the answer in the chat. It says, what do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Yeah, that's number four. What do you want for dinner? Pretty good. That's number four. Number five. Do you like football? Do you like do you do you, do you like football? Do you like football? Exactly. So you like football? Do you like football? Number six. Does your brother like football? Exactly. So here we use does because we we have the third person singular. He. Does he, does your brother like football? That's number six. Very good. Number seven. What, what, what do, you do you do in your free time? Free time? Exactly. What do you do in your free time? Yeah. Amazing. That's number seven. Number eight. That's Where do your sister Where? work? Where does your sister work? Where does your sister work? Yes. Where does your sister work? Sister work. Exactly. Why we use does? Because I listen to some people that say do. Why we use does and not do? Because the third person. Yeah. So we had a third person singular. In that case, what is the, the equivalence? Your sister. What is the, the, the subject pronoun? She. Yeah, she. Or does she work? Or does your sister work? Very good. So these are the answers, guys, for the questions. This is the last activity. And we will unscramble the questions for the correct form of the simple present specifically. Yes, no, and all these questions. Very good job. If, do you have any questions, everybody? No teacher. No teacher question. Teacher, no question. I lost I lost a, a part of the class because I had to attend a customer and I I lost like 20 minutes, 20 minutes and uh, if you can share the 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 sheet. The I'm sorry the Puede again? compartir la página, la paginita que oh. hace. Ajá. Yeah, 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 sorry. Me repito como 20 minutos de la clase. Oh, okay, okay. Ajá. Yeah. Y luego voy a ver lo que no vi, pero sí tenía un par de dudas, pero mejor la voy a ver. Cualquier cosa le pregunto en WhatsApp. Okay, I will share this in the chat, no worries, in the WhatsApp group. This, this information or these details that I type here in the Word document, of course, I will do it. And if you have any questions here, let me know. And I can clarify my words. But I know that it's time. I know that it's time. Uh, yeah, I'm going to upload the video too in the channel, right? On YouTube. Uh, in case you lost part of the class, so you can go there and check it out. And of course, if you have any questions, just contact me. Contact me via yeah, personal WhatsApp. And of course, I can help you. Or you can do it in the WhatsApp group. It's okay. No worries. Uh, yeah, and of course, I want to clarify that in case you have them. Okay, uh, somebody else? Questions? For the moment, no. All right. Yes, of course. All right. Hours exam, yes, of course. Yeah, whenever you have any questions, just let me know, like I said before, and I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. You were telling me uh, in the previous classes, right, if you can ask me, or you can contact me during the vacation. Yeah, you can do it. I mean, if you need some help, just let me know. And I'm available. I can help you. All right, Thank so it's, it's my pleasure. All right, uh, listen up. We're going to start right here. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, very good. Listen up. We're going to start right here because it's time. Thank you so much for your time. One more time, I like to I like to say that because I I know that your time is valuable, and I appreciate that from you, right? 
Uh, please keep going, keep practicing during the vacation. If you haven't completed this, the, the platform, probably the section that, that we told you before, uh, section two, probably section three, and of course, section four, please continue working and complete it. Complete them, right? Complete them. Uh, well, remember that next week is day free, so we will have a week off. And we're going to return. We're going to come back until next Monday, August 9th, right? And we're going to continue with the rest of the section, which is section number four, and we finish with section number five, okay? Uh, whenever you have any questions, just let me know. I'm, I'm available, and I'm willing to help. Uh, I want to wish you a happy holidays, please. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your vacation. Uh, spend time with your families. Take care, of course. Stay safe. And remember, whenever you go, wear a mask. Wear a mask. Okay? God bless you. Okay, Blessings. And I'll see you. you happy vacation, happy teacher. Happy vacation, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Take care, teacher. Take care. Thank you. Appreciate you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you soon. Bye -bye.